Hey, True Believers, Zanglantine here. So there's a little bit of a controversy going over all these massive Marvel trade paperback sales that's uh, happening over at Comixology. So it has to do with a gentleman called Brian Hibbs. Uh, a long time ago, he basically uh, launched a class action suit against Marvel Comics over their uh, failure to adhere to Diamond comic distributors rules over comic book lateness and uh, apparently he's not a big fan of how marvel is knocking their prices down on the trade paperbacks and it's not so much the older ones but they're also doing it with the new ones uh, including the one that came out last week thanos infinity siblings that's uh jim starlin's story and it was offered on release day for 99 cents so, uh, apparently, at the EIC, C.B. Sobolski said that this was not down to Marvel, but to Comixology itself and Amazon, and that they had been in talks to get it to change. Now, obviously, I mean, come on, this, you have the file, you can sell it as many times as you want, and if you sell it really cheap, maybe you get a quick profit off of it by many, many, many people, you, you don't have to sell it as cheap as nine, uh, 99 cents, but I understand that once you reach a certain point, it's all profit, so why not sell it as cheap as possible to get more people to buy it who may not otherwise be interested? That being said, I also understand that they're also selling it to comic shops, so there has to be a bit of a separation between the time it's on sale and the time it, uh, you know, but by the time it gets released and by the time it goes on sale from Marvel and Amazon. But, yeah, like I said, if, uh, if it's Amazon, then what's Marvel to do? They've got to come up with some sort of rule saying, look, we'll sell it to you for this, but, you know, we're, we, we can't have you selling it at 99 cents. It is a bit of a pickle. It's a, it's a little more complicated than first let on. Um, however, this guy, he did write a letter. It goes, I was extremely disappointed at Marvel Comics' performance at the Diamond Summit this week. Not because of CB. He very obviously has a heartfelt passion and concern for the line, but because of the lack of preparation for and proper response to retailers' sincere and existential threat from the now fifth week of the wild undercutting on new this week book product coming from Amazon. It is utterly unacceptable that Marvel is allowing 96% plus off pricing on a brand new book like Infinity Siblings. CB says you're trying to get to the bottom of this, that you are in talks. This to me is the kind of situation that gets resolved in absolutely no more than 72 hours. And that's 48 more hours than my heart tells me it really takes because of the literal harm it is doing to an entire class of customers. Because after five weeks, five weeks where this has been reported far and wide, five weeks where that reporting is driving customers to digital at the expense of print, I have decided that as of this FOC, I can no longer order new Marvel graphic novels and have zeroed out my orders on all book format product published by Marvel at both of my stores. I do not want to do this, but the way that Marvel has slow walked this tells me it's the only thing I can do. There's still time to change this. Ceasing this program and coming forward publicly with a full and completely transparent accounting of what happened, and I'll happily reinstate those orders, blissfully even. But my economic power of purchasing, even if it's only a fraction of Amazon's, is the only power I have. And there are plenty of other publishers wanting to sell me books that are bending over backwards for me so that I will have no problem filling my racks. I don't know everything about what Amazon does and why, but in years of watching them, what CB described does not match any known behavior that I have observed, nor what I have been able to discuss with other publishers about the behaviors they have observed. CB's picture simply doesn't make any sense. Amazon does not take that kind of a loss on that kind of a scale unless it is being made up in some other consideration from a manufacturer. I hope this is dealt with both promptly and publicly. I'd like to keep ordering new Marvel book stock. Thank you for listening.
Now, of course, if you think diabolically, if you're thinking that there is something underhanded going on, it really does feel like they're getting rid of or trying to get rid of the brick and mortar stores. But since it's an avenue of income, it just doesn't make sense as to why. Unless, you know, they just figure, okay, you know what? Production cost is less on a digital than it is on a paper, so let's just go digital completely. And maybe they're trying it out, get people hooked, so that when they do it, it's a lot easier for them to make the transference. Personally, I'll buy the the monthly, the weekly, whatever you want to call it, the floppies, as they say. I'll buy that digital, but the trade paperbacks, I love to have physical. It just, it's better to me. Uh, you know, it takes up less room, that kind of thing. But what are you going to do? Are you going to actually try to get people to stop buying? Are you going to say, hey, don't buy that for 99 cents. Go to the comic shop and buy it for $25. <laughs> Good luck. I mean, it, it is it is bad if that's what's going on. If they're actively really trying to shut down the local comic shops. It could just be a sign of the times. I mean, I know if... Uh, <laughs> If I could get the trade paperbacks for $0.25 cents and somebody said go to digital for $25, I would definitely be giving them a finger. Yeah, so uh, it is, it's is—it's kind of rough. And I don't think there's an easy solution to this. I mean, you could give a knee-jerk emotional response. Oh, boycott! You know, which seems to be the word of the day. But as far as when you're just thinking about it, that's a, that's a rougher thing. That's a harder thing to uh, talk about. Now, of course, if Marvel can control it, definitely put a moratorium. You can only put a 99-cent sticker on it after a couple of years. You know, give it time. I, you would think that they would want that anyway because there's got to be a percentage here. They pay a certain amount of money, and uh, they get a per certain amount of sales unless they're just buying it in one big bulk sale price. I don't know. Anywho, let me know what you think in the uh, comment section below. What, what do you think could be done? What's a good solution? Not a knee-jerk, emotional, oh, let's boycott and let's kill him. Let's go after C.B. Sobolski because he's an SJW cuck. You know, well, to give me something real. Tell me something. Like, if you've got an idea, what would that idea be? Let me know in the comments below. Also, if you like this video, you want to see more, click like, share, subscribe. You know the deal. Hit that notification bell so you don't miss anything. Also, this is the uh, way you make a living, so if you don't mind heading on over to Patreon, help out the channel, help us keep the lights on, and help us keep uh, making videos for you and buying better equipment and uh, software to make vi better videos, just drop a dollar in the till. As little as a dollar, you join the Great Graphic Novel Giveaway, where we choose a name out of the hat, and hey, whoever gets picked, we send a graphic novel to. Easy peasy. Like I said, links in the description below. Like, thank everybody who's already done that. To everyone, all of the true believers, thank you very, very much for watching.